Hello and welcome to the Blood Prince Council Heroic Guide from LearnToPlayWow.com, brought to you with the help of Guild Rides from Xevious. To make things a bit easier to understand, I'm going to call them Shadow Prince, Vortex Prince and Fire Prince. The first thing you are going to notice is the Shadow Prison debuff. The more you move, the more it will stack and the more damage you will take. Standing still will reset the debuff. So the idea is to try and move in short bursts. Get to the target, DPS it a little bit, run away from whatever dangerous spell is coming at you and then move back and sit for 10 seconds. It's not so much about how much damage this debuff does, it's just another thing to pay attention to. Don't spend your time focusing too much on this debuff. It is there just to annoy you. Focus on the two important spells of this battle, Shock Vortex and Fireball. The Shadow Prison debuff does an extra 500 damage for each stack, so it starts becoming dangerous at around 10 stacks or more. That is when you will also get a DBM warning. When you get that warning, stop moving unless you are doing something important like running away from a fireball. Everyone will get affected except for the Shadow Prince tank, who can still move relatively free to get to his dark nuclei. For the Shadow Prince we used a normal tank and not a ranged one, we used a Death Knight, as Death Knights are good at taking spell damage. Having a normal tank is more safe and reduces problems with threat. DPSing the Shadow Prince is now one of the more relaxing moments of this battle. Given this Shadow Prison debuff and the inability to move so much, having good spread out positions, assignments for ranged healers and melees can help a lot in this battle. Yes, I also said melees, they need to run out and spread on the empowered shock vortex. If on normal mode this wasn't so much of a problem, on heroic things are a bit more tough, you have to avoid melees running into each other or into ranged. Having a simple text based running out macro that any of your raiders can create will help in avoiding unnecessary deaths. Ranged and healers can copy their assigned positions from, let's say, Saurfang. As good as fixed positions may be for avoiding empowered shock vortex and shadow prison damage, the randomness of the non-empowered shock vortexes, fireballs and kinetic bombs means you will have to adapt for each situation. The non-empowered shock vortexes are the white whirly things that players leave on the floor. When one gets too close to these, they get a knockback effect and take some damage. Then they have to run in and out again and running like that makes you take extra damage. Pay attention to the players saying shock vortex on me. This is important while DPSing the fire prince. If the vortex is on the melee, the tank plus the prince plus the melee need to move to a side. If the shock vortex is on a ranged, just the same, stay clear of the area. The time between the fireballs is longer than the time needed for the shadow prison debuff to reset itself, so melees can run under the fireballs, absorb some damage, get back in, get the debuff reset, then move back out. For absorbing fireball damage, there is another thing ranged and healers can do. They can stay grouped up during this phase and the ranged that gets targeted for the fireball runs out of the group. The fireball goes over the melee, over the ranged group and thus its final damage becomes manageable. The critical points in this battle are the prince switches from shadow or fire to vortex. You can have someone calling out on vent each switch. Why is this important? Well, let's say you are DPSing the fire prince. Melees are bunched up, ranged are out of position. 
target switch occurs and its vortex prints casting empowered shock vortex. There is too little time to spread and players are too far away from their standard positions. Vortex damage gets players killed. There isn't much you can do against this. Just spread out before each change coming from fire or shadow prints. Watch the target switch timer and vortex timer. Additionally, must dispel the targets of glittering sparks as they will be slowed. From add-ons, DBM, Ice Crown, The Crimson Hole, Blood Prince Council, Bars, you can take out some of the timers that don't interest you. And just keep target switch and vortex. The enrage timer is really not a problem. It's all about surviving and playing it safe, taking them down little by little. Kinetic bombs can be a problem. They fall much faster and have a serious knockback effect when they land, pushing everyone back. None of them can be allowed to land. You can have at least three ranged assigned full time to those bombs, with other ranged helping out whenever they can. Hunters are particularly effective as their pets can keep a bomb up while they take care of another one. Keep the pet on passive. It will return to you when that bomb vanishes, so you know when to send it out again. Each ranged should take care of a specific area, one left, one right, one center. When the fire prince was empowered, we had it on the right side of the room, with the ranged and healers towards the middle at max range in order to maximize fireball travel time. The ranged assigned to kinetic bombs on the right side of the room needs to watch out for those bombs spawning on the far right corner, as they are the ones that are harder to reach in time. This has been a guide from learntoplaywo.com. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.